Hey, it's Chip, Southwestern Pennsylvania Rural Exploration Blog. You're probably wondering why you're staring at a piece of paper uh, thumbtacked to some cardboard in the dark. Well, what we're going to try to do is uh, look at some Super 8 film footage shot by my grandfather, Harold Gooseman, back in 1982 when a barge uh, broke loose and got stuck, stuck in the Maxwell Dam. Uh, they had to open the dam gates to get it out and thus lowered the pool of the Mon River. Now this actually happened again three years later in the flood of 85 when I believe it was 26 or 27 barges uh, broke loose in that big flood in uh, Election Day 1985 and jammed up the uh, dam down there. And it was quite a bit more of a mess. But in 82 it actually happened also. Uh, if you look back through the blog there's some photos of it on there. Of the low water and some different things. But this is film footage my grandfather shot that day. Now what we're going to see on this is um, it starts off with the repair party at the Maxwell Lock. Um, the Army Corps of Engineers Pittsburgh District Repair Party and they are trying to get this barge out. Um, you can see um, the boat they call the Manila, which has a large crane on it. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it was the same boat that they used to search for the uh, B-25 bomber back in 1956. I'm not sure if it's the exact same one, but they were both called the Manila. I think there were more than one of them. But anyway, uh, you'll see some footage of that, and then there's some footage of a random train that my grandfather just decided to film. And then we see uh, the low water on, uh, on the, in the river back toward home. We kind of work our way up. I believe there's a few seconds of uh, the mouth of Ten Mile where it comes out in Mills Millsboro and meets with the um, Mon River down there. You can see the railroad bridge and a large houseboat sitting in the mud. And then there's some footage from the lock wall in Rice's Landing uh, where you can see the very, very base of the dam that was there, which was at Lock 6. Um, which is, uh, if you know the lock wall in Rice's Landing, that's the lock that was actually there. Um, and then there's just some few up and down the river shots. And then at the tail end, there's the mouth of Pumpkin Run Creek where it comes out into the Mon. And you can see the old boat docks there. Um, it's The footage is, I, I just watched it, it's kind of dark because it was foggy that day. And uh, it was in, uh, in the winter, late fall, uh, early winter when this was shot so we're gonna try I'm gonna try this is like the third time I've tried this and the film keeps getting jammed so uh, let me see if we can make it work this time I will try to narrate a little bit of what you're looking at if you can hear over the rattle of the projector so let's see what we got okay now that is the repair party I was telling you about see the big crane on there and that's the dam at Maxwell um, pretty cool if my dad was here he would be able to tell you who all these guys are he would be saying, oh, that's Sea Lie, and that's Blackie, and that's Hobo, and you had cool nicknames if you worked for the Corps of Engineers uh, back in the day, I guess. Now, this is looking uh, up through the lock gate. That thing that's up in the air is the gate of the dam, uh, and it's pretty cool, and you can see the manila there behind it. Um, some guys on the back end there. Looks like they're cutting the uh, barge. The thing they're standing on is the barge. Now, there is a uh, better shot of the manila and the guys down there somebody. Now, these guys are working hard right there. That must have been the bosses there. These guys are nuts, man. Now, if you can see, that was a hole in the bottom of that barge. Now, if you know anything about a coal barge and you've ever seen one up close, the amount of force it would take to put a hole that size in that sucker is pretty amazing. This is a train. I don't know why that's on here. My grandfather was just, you know, must have been standing near a train track, which is kind of cool. You can kind of get an idea of how foggy it was that day. And uh, the film's jumping around a little bit. Bear with me there. Uh, my grandfather must have been a daredevil and because he was getting pretty close to the track there. I'm not sure what that was about. Now we're back to the uh, repair party trying to get the barge out. Uh, you can see they got a crane hooked to it. Maybe. Uh, and they're going to try to lift it out of there. Like I said, I plan on having all this film transferred professionally to digital where we'll be able to see it better but this I'm just kind of messing around with this tonight that is actually the channel 4 uh, action news helicopter from back then and there's another shot of it here in a second and you can actually see like the old school channel 4 like rainbow logo that was on it uh, there was another helicopter in the background there too they must have been filming the uh, yeah, see, there you got a good shot of it there. That's pretty cool right there. Action News. 
and uh, now this is at the mouth of uh, the 10 mile that's a big houseboat that sat down there for years and it's in the mud see the railroad bridge there uh, that's the one if, if you go to the rail to trail that's the bridge that's at the end of the rail to trail now and there's the big houseboat in the mud I guess I should probably hold the camera a little more still so now that those what looks like rapids right there in the river that is actually where the dam was now my grandfather's trying to zoom in on something over there and what he's trying to zoom in on was one of the original lock gates from the old lock that was laying in the mud over there but you can't see it real well that's Dilworth mine and I wish these were clearer because you may have been able to see the old crucible ferry laying on the bank there maybe when we get them transferred digitally you'll be able to see that but that's facing north now there's pumpkin run that I was telling you about that's normally a boat launch you can see the uh, boat docks laying there in the mud and I think that's about it for this reel. We're going to see how she looks.